Hi, and welcome to Carolina Varsity's 2015 Week 8. We're taking a look at the Southwestern 4A and uh, conference, uh, or excuse me, uh, playoff uh, projections. And I'm Dale Ross. And I'm the pet man, Matt Barb. Here's your standings right now for the Southwest. And surprisingly, Independence is on top. <laughs> 2 and 0, 4 and 3 overall. Um, also, uh, top Myers Park, 1 and 0. They had a bye last week, right. 4 and 2 overall. And three teams sitting at one and one in the conference. You got Rocky River one and one, two and five overall. East Mech one and one, three and four overall. And Butler one and one, five and two overall. Mm -hmm. At the bottom, uh, Porter Ridge zero and one in the conference, and zero and seven overall. And Garinder zero and two in the conference, and zero and seven overall. Right. And so looking at what it's going to take to make the playoffs, we. We know that six wins you're automatic, or not automatically, but you're definitely in. Mm -hmm. Five wins you're most likely in. And then Southwestern 4A, uh, that's where it starts. Is uh, Butler has five wins. Yeah. So most likely they're in. Um, you know, they're, you would think they're a one or a two, but it's hard to say right hard now. Hard to say now. They have that one loss, and yeah. we don't know what's going to happen over the next few weeks. So, mm -hmm. uh, but. They have Myers Park, Rocky River, Porter Ridge, and Independence. Rocky River and Porter Ridge, you'd have to say are wins. So that puts them at seven wins they're in and kind of a mid-level seed. Uh, Myers Park and Independence, I think, are toss-up games. So they could finish as low as third. Anything's possible here. You know, that Myers Park game is, is a big one yeah. coming up this week. And even that Rocky River game, you know. Could be. Yeah. I'll, it's interesting. I'll be real interested to see what Rocky River does this right. week. We'll get into that when we start talking about games. But yep. um, Independence at the end of the season now is looming big. They yep. got a, a head start on them. Exactly. So while Independence and Myers Park both are at four wins, mm -hmm. and that's the next two teams, uh, Independence is leading the conference right now. So your one, two, and three finishing teams make the playoffs automatically regardless of record. Right. Uh, Independence has Geringer, Myers Park, Rocky River, and Butler. So you you, you got to think that Geringer's a win. Yeah. And Rocky River is most likely a win, but it's a rival game. So, mm -hmm. uh, and they've kind of shown some inability sometimes against teams as far as scoring. Right. Uh, but they've got, and they've also got Butler and uh, Myers Park. So those I think are toss ups. The key with Independence is they control their own destiny. Here. Yep. They went out, they got it. They got, they got, it. got the conference. They got number one seat. Yeah. So it's always the great seat to be in is in the driver's seat and everybody else has a loss. Mm -hmm. So, well, except for Myers Park. Yep. Exactly. They also control their destiny. They're, they're the other thing. Mm -hmm. They have Butler, Porter Ridge, Independence, Garrett, and East Met. So when you look at that right off the bat, you see three teams that they should be. Porter Ridge, Geringer, and East Mecklenburg. And this sets up well for Myers Park. I mean, they got Butler at a, what, we, what yep. you would think is a, a good the best time, time to have Butler. Yep. <laughs> and then you got, you know, their other big games in Independence. Right. And, you know, that's going to be a, a showdown. Now, I'm going to say, just based on what we've seen, what I've seen happen, that is that East Mecklenburg game could turn into a toss-up game. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll just have to see what happens with East if they can springboard off of that win. Right. And speaking right. of East, they got three wins. Mm -hmm. So they've got uh, Rocky River, Garringer, Porter Ridge, and Myers Park to finish up with. You got to think they've got a good shot. It's a, I think it's a toss-up with Rocky River. Yep. That game, uh, it's hard to call, but you got to feel like they got a shot in that. Garringer and Porter Ridge, you got to believe that they would win those games. And right now, you got to think that Myers Park is a loss, but that puts them at six wins. Um, Big, big game for uh, East Bank this week. The Rocky River game this week. Yeah. Uh, five wins, you might make it, but because uh, you're going to have three conference wins. If you lose to Rocky River, but beat Garrett to Porter Ridge and lose to uh, Myers Park, mm -hmm. you'll be at five wins, plus you'll be three conference wins. And it's, on the, it's on the borderline. It's on the borderline, but if you make it, you're going to be a low seed. Right. Uh, 16, 15. Mm -hmm. Rocky River. <laughs> You know, they're two wins, and they got uh, East Mecklenburg, Butler, Independence, and Porter Ridge to play. They got work to do. They got the in, in the East Mecklenburg game is uh, critical. Paramount. Critical. Paramount. And Porter Ridge, you've got to feel like they'd probably win that game. Mm -hmm. Butler and Independence, you know, I don't know. I mean, they could step up because of rivalries, but, and 
Porter Ridge and Garinger are zero wins, and they'd have to win out. And I think the only win that's going to come out of those two is when they play each other this Friday night. Mm -hmm. And uh, get somebody to make you some commercials, some of those good commercials, you know, that they make for the Super Bowl. Well, this might be the Super Bowl. Hate to say it, but, uh, you know, guys, just keep working and uh, get better. And, yeah. heck, if you can pull a win out, uh, either, either one of you get a win here in the in the final uh, five weeks of the season, that's a that's a good thing. Take some pride in, in messing up someone else's, you know, dream. Exactly. So, yeah, Myers Park, Butler, East Mech, and Rocky River. Uh, that's what Porter Ridge has got. Porter Ridge has got, or Garinger's got, Besides Porter Ridge, we got Independence, East Mecklenburg, Myers Park. Both of you guys could mess up a lot of people's playoff seating and maybe even playoff hopes. So that's the next thing you do when you when playoffs look like they're out of the picture. You start worrying about taking down your your rivals. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So hey, it's not over till the till the last whistle of the last Friday night. All right. All right. So. Uh, that's it. Take a look at the North Carolina High School football report. See what it thinks because it's going to be very accurate, I believe, and who's going to win and who's going to make it into the playoffs. Thanks, and we'll try to keep up with this each week.